Hey there, water signs. Okay, so I'm gonna get y'all. It's gonna be a next 48 for water signs, okay? I'm gonna try to get everybody done tonight, but if not, I'll get to y'all in the morning, okay? <clears throat> y'all probably be having some busy days these days. What's here for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Water Sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces? What's here? I heard rendezvous, okay? Somebody might be going on vacation or, you know, just simply enjoying your life with who you want to be with, what you want to be doing. But there's something that you can't trust or somebody, okay? I feel like somebody may have the courage to come towards you in the near future, but that shit is going to end up failing. Or maybe you're scared that something is going to fail, so that's why you're not going towards somebody. Maybe you're asking me. That's too much. What's here? Yeah, grief. Freedom reverse. Somebody is trying to keep you locked down in a situation. Or this is you trying to hold somebody, pin somebody the fuck down, but this is not WWE, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, A, Y, lay your ass the fuck down. Some fucking where is what I want to say. The fuck is this dumb shit? Only time something will succeed is if you can have trust in the situation. There is no trust here. The bond is broken. Relationships and balance. So it seems like... This is either you or this is somebody like they want complete control, like they feel balanced when they have control. And that's anybody, right? Like you will want to have control over what the hell you got going on. But I mean, when it comes to something, you don't have control over another human being. You just don't. But anyway, water signs, I see some happiness coming in. I'm trying to just move past this negative shit because this is some negative ass shit. Those are my kids in the background, you guys. So I'm sorry about that noise, okay? What's grief here? Relationships and balance. It's like this this person right here is only happy when they see you grieving or something. That's weird as fuck. But on to another note, you could have literally lost somebody. My condolences here, fam, masculine. You could have lost someone or there's just something, some kind of loss is here, okay? I feel like you set the bar, you set the standards, but you have to know when your prosperity is here, somebody is trying to come in and bring conflict and defeat with some fucking deception. This is what I'm saying. It's just it's just a never-ending story of somebody always waiting on you to reach a certain level of success. And then they want to come in and try to block you, bro. And this is also in your relationship. So we're going to clarify that relationship energy. Love begins, sacral chakra and wisdom here. It's like you know, somebody knows that something is only sexual here. It's grief. And maybe you're ending a sexual relationship, but somebody wants you to be bound to them. Patience. This person got a lot of patience, or this is you. But I mean patience, like to sit back and wait for somebody to come up and then to come in and try to fuck it all up. <clears throat> What's relationships? I don't trust this person. I don't trust this energy. This is too motherfucking much here. Passion ignited, third eye chakra, movement choices, decisions, hope, trapped in fear, sacrificing. This is what I'm saying. This person, at the end, they want balance, but it don't have any fucking thing to do with you. It don't have anything to do with you. Look, it's coming out again. They want to be balanced. These same cards are coming. This person wants control. Who the hell is trapped in fear in a relationship? Please explain this. If you are trapped in fear in a relationship, you need to go. You need to move around right here. What's balance? Try young, positive movement forward, victory, success, reverse. Somebody is trying to come towards you. They're trying to victoriously come towards you to, man, fuck everything up in your damn life. Or this is you doing this to someone else and you're a motherfucking loser and that shit ain't gonna work. You could be dealing with another water sign or an earth sign. What's the balance? <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be dealing with it. But it's, it's definitely a Capricorn with this devil energy here. Triumphant success, sacral chakra, wisdom, hermit energy, Virgo. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's. That wisdom card gives me, like, hierophant, hermit. So, yeah, you're dealing with an earth sign or, you know, whatever. I don't know. 
It's like some that you know, some of you, or you about to be made aware of some here. Like, like you about to definitely know who the hell these people is you've been dealing with, you keeping company, whatever. Or somebody might be, this might be a new person trying to come in. I don't know, but I feel like this is an old person. I feel like this is somebody that you've been knowing. You may not be speaking to this person right now, but they feel like they own you. And you're at peace here. TikTok, their time is up. Somebody does not understand. That's the truth, Aru, bruh. Like, they don't understand. They just don't. What's patience here? Mending. They want to come in and, and mend something with you. So this is a fucking ex. Goodness gracious. These exes don't know how to leave, do they? What's trapped in fear? These exes do not know how to leave. They really do not. Because guess what? They spend their whole day on life trying to find someone like you, Van Vasquez. And they never will. You're with someone else. I feel like you're at peace. And now this person about to come in and try to disrupt that for you. And see, a lot of y'all are even terrified to date. You're good on your own. And ain't nothing wrong with being single. Trust that. It ain't shit wrong with being single. But you don't, you know, if you have an actual counterpart, somebody that's going to be there for you. If you meet somebody that's a decent person, you know, come from a decent home or whatever. You know, I don't I don't see anything wrong with being with someone at some point in time, but you just have to use your discernment with people. Because they only be trying to slow you down and shit. These days and ages, bro, these hoes and these niggas will send people to you, bro. They'll sit back and literally have somebody study you, shawty. They will literally have people. This is how desperate the enemy is to take your shit. They will literally have somebody study all your attributes, everything about you. I heard your demographics. Like, these people is tight, bro. They'll do any fucking thing, shawty. They will do anything to obtain you, to get your energy and to harvest it or whatever the fuck. I don't know, shawty. Your energy is extremely sacred, bro. A lot of y'all be better off, like, to yourself. Like, if you're not already with someone, bro, it's kind of hard. And then that's the thing about it, too. Like, a lot of these people feel like y'all belong to them. Like, they don't want you to be able to trust or whatever. Or that bullshit fuck. And they do all these shit to traumatize you, you know, and make you not want to fuck with anybody. But it ain't them shit. You really can't trust nobody, bro. How many failed relationships have you had? You dig a school? Like, how many failed relationships? Let's just be honest. How many of them failed? How many of them could you have literally lost your life? You literally damn near lost everything fucking with other people, bro. When you're by yourself, you're at peace. You're good. I'm not saying that you can't have company or whatever, but, bro, it's always the company that you keep in, shawty. Patience reverse. Now they impatient. It was all about patience, and now they getting impatient here. Man, get the fuck out of here. This person wishy washy as fuck. What's here? Relationships, trapped in fear and peace. What's here? Thank you, guys. They're coming in to break your heart, but you can't be broken. You are this person is already done enough. Door spirit, thinking woman. So many fucking cards. This energy is not going nowhere, bro. These people are vicious. It's a vicious cycle, bro. The enemy is out. Like that motherfucker is exposed. The enemy does not give a fuck, bro. That motherfucker, bro, the enemy should have been trying to hide for a long ass time. Now, y'all see all this demonic shit out in the open. And it's mainly the ones that are on a different conscious. You dig your excuse for him asking me? Motherfuckers that's in the 5, 6, 7 D here. Motherfuckers is vibrating on a whole different frequency. And we see right through all of this shit, bro. Archangel Metatron. What the fuck hostilities got to do with a relationship? Like I said, a lot of y'all almost lost your life fucking with people, bro. That claim to love you. Eating your pussy, sucking your dick every fucking night. But they claim to love you. And then they turn around and want to kill you when you want to bring something to an end because they're a motherfucking cheater. I feel like it's someone or something here way better for you, fam. That's for sure. I just really do. I feel like it's something better here. Whoever in the fuck this is, bro, do not take no exes back. And see, a lot of these hoes and niggas know you'll never fuck with them. And they still just playing in your fucking energy like that shit cool or something. They sitting back plotting on you and shit. 
But see, they don't know that you can't be moved. They just trying to steal something. That's all they work on is stealing shit. That's it. That's all these people know how to do is be thieves. But they can't find nobody else to go and steal from because they ain't got that divine energy. Everybody they know is karmic as fuck. The only person this person had the privilege to know is you, divine fam, masculine. You are the only light this person has ever known. Everybody else is just as dark as them. And then somebody might too be trying to encourage this motherfucker to come towards you here. Look, I'm telling you the vibes. Look at all this shit that came out at once. This divine masculine got gifts and money and dick and love. Whoever this is, fam. Yo, your divine masculine, this is his energy here. And it's, it's like this person is here and somebody knows it. Look, this nigga's in this, somebody going to prison and they're in despair because of this. Somebody about 32 years old. Okay, too fucking old. They're going to prison for stealing. And it could be from you. Somebody's literally going to jail for, for stealing, bro. They going to jail for a long ass time. Feeling like I said in another reading, your masculine may literally have to turn himself in. Divine family and then film getting undisputed income and shit. Masculine getting undisputed income. Y'all folks already got a bank full and you finna get some more. You dig a rich kid? Like, the fuck? Y'all ain't worried about nothing, bro. That's how I don't understand how these people keep putting so much on money like that. Because money just comes to y'all people, bro. Motherfucker got so much they don't know what to do with that shit right here. Y'all giving away money and shit. Y'all just trying to do some good shit. You dig a rule? Like, y'all don't know what to do. Y'all folks got everything you want. And if you don't got it, it's because you ain't got up and wanted to get the shit. Literally. You ain't ordered it just yet or some shit. Or something that you just don't need. It. Like, you don't need to have it. But you can have it if you want it. You dig a rule? Like, these people ain't ever going to be in that kind of position to where they can get up and buy what they want, go what they want, and not worry about shit. They're in motherfucking poverty. This is what I'm saying. This is not... They not... They energy is not wealthy man, privileged lady, sudden wealth, unexpected income, gifts. That's not their energy. That's yours. I just said that. Didn't I just say... Didn't I just say this? This is your energy here. And you ain't got to tell nobody what the fuck changed in your life. You ain't got to tell nobody. Look, grateful. I can't make this up. Because get what? As soon as you tell somebody what you got going on, here they come trying to plot to steal shit. Could be somebody in a marriage or some shit. I don't fucking know, fam. I don't know who the hell these damn people y'all deal with, bro. And shit, a lot of y'all don't need deal with these motherfucking people, bro. A lot of y'all, these are people that's planning to come towards you. They getting sent to you. These people study you to the T and then try to meet you somewhere and act like it was coincidental. No, the fuck it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, the fuck it was not, bro. And the thing about it is y'all see right through this shit. That's the funny part to me. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. The funny part is you see right through this and you got idiots like this that's still trying to maneuver and play games. That's because you got this big ass breakthrough here. It's a contract here with your name on it. So see, what I do want to say, fam, masculine, is you have a major contract. It's something here, bro. Something here. You walked away from somebody, and they're trying to send somebody else because they get readings on you a lot. Ace of Pentacles. This person gets readings on you very often. <laughs> Excuse me. You're already at a Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay, you're already at a Nine of Pentacles by yourself. So somebody may either know you already got this physically, know this, or they get, they get readings all fucking day. Damn, that's a lot. What's here for this grief energy here? So the grief is this fool is in damn despair because they're going to jail or something. Look, this damn queen of wands. Who in the fuck is this bitch? This is a fucking karmic. It's a karmic. You're not a karmic. They're the karmic. It's the relationships here. Fuck is you so goddamn afraid for moon card because something coming out. Secrets. Secrets is coming out. Justice is being fucking served. That's why they scared. What's the queen of wands here? This person is afraid as hell. Look at the emperor with the tower. Ace of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of swords. Man, don't let that shit fool you, bro. What's the queen of wands? Don't let that shit fool you, shout out. These folks ain't got shit going on. The two of wands reverse. Somebody can't even make a decision because they don't have... An option to make a decision. They ass going to fucking jail. It'll be a fucking correctional officer telling them what the fuck to do. Knight of Pentacles. The fuck? Sheriffs and shit going to be telling them what the fuck to do. 
But see, they wanted y'all in that position of some shit. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Somebody solely after your money, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And this could be a King of Pentacles that's going to prison right along with this bitch right here. For sure. Look, Queen of Swords. This person is not no motherfucking Empress. Say no Empress. Say none of that. What's the more part of that? What's the more part here for uh, Scorpio King of Pisces, please? Thank you, Daddy. Ace of Wands of Rose, child. I heard I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> What's the Ace of Wands of Rose? It's my name, Desiree. <clears throat> Strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. It's like somebody is mad because you're strong enough to stand on your own. Look at this shit. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Page of Swords. Somebody is over. They are over a certain some shit. Somebody is doing something excessively. What's the justice? They're watching you all the time, and here they come. Trying to rush into you. They're trying to come in with all this bullshit, bro. Like, y'all got so much in common. I keep telling y'all, bro. Somebody come in, and they just too good to be true. It probably is, for sure. Probably is a damn lie. Somebody made a horrible investment, and they're getting some badass news. It's the eight of wands. The queen of cups reverse. This is, man, I'm telling you, I don't like this person, fam. I really, I don't like their intentions. Because their goal is to stop a different, like, this is another relationship with an actual King of Cups coming in. Or an actual Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups? And they're trying to definitely block this shit. They want this block. They want it stopped. They do not want this happening. Eight of Cups reverse, and they're not walking the way. They want the wheel to turn in their favor, but it's not. They're getting horrible fucking karma, and you're still going to be winning. This is weird. Look at the damn seven of swords, king of swords, ace of swords. This is a fucking liar. This person lies so goddamn much. This is just, just a shame. What's the tea on this damn fool? This grief energy. What's this grief energy here for? This is crazy, bro. What's the tea on the grief energy? What's the tea on grief? What did I just say? What did I just say? Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Did I just say this? What's the great energy? Did I just, bro, this is, I can't make this shit up. A closer look, nosy, up in your business. What's this um, relationship energy? Somebody trying to use the energy of a relationship. Somebody wants you back. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to force their way. They're, they're trying to send somebody else in. It seems like somebody wants somebody to come in and hurt you so bad so you will go running back to them because they'll, they're going to seemingly just be there. They'll start reaching out to you or something, but they're fake fucking smiling. They cannot find nobody, like I said, to impersonate your energy. It seems to me like that's what they're doing. They're sending somebody in that's physically, verbally, spiritually, mentally abusive. And it's like, they don't mind you going through that trauma. <clears throat> they don't mind you going through that because they feel like <laughs> when it all boils down, you're going to come back to them. That's not the case. You're too busy winning anyway to even deal with a loser. This is crazy. This, like, this is beyond me. Like, y'all don't even understand the energy I'm picking up on this person. Like, this motherfucker literally is sending up little intuition and downloads. I'm telling you, bro. I know exactly what I feel, y'all. Person, weird as fuck right here. Or this is you. What else is here? It's a different, it's another love here. It's another offer here. And how would they know? Like I said, they get readings all motherfucking day. That's all this person does. You have healing energy. You have healing energy. And this person wants to destroy you. They want you to be karmic like them. You're not going to be like that. This person needs to heal. With they dog fucking ass, they need to damn heal. You're, you're man, expect miracles for them. You're, you're manifesting. You're vulnerable and free, child. You're courageous. That's part of the sacred plan, though. You do, girl. Like this, this is your, 
your path, like you're on your path. And somebody is it's just a learning experience. You learn from it. Okay, cool. Move on. You ain't got to stick around for this shit. This is nothing to be a part of. I don't feel if you truly knew, if you truly knew what deception this person came with, you'll never want shit to do with them. That's what I'm saying. What else is here for a Scorpio cancer Pisces? Yeah, divine damn masculine. <laughs> Y'all better know these folks on, bro. These folks, somebody's looking for payback, revenge. They want to punish you. They feel like you deserve to be punished. Wow. But it's this person that's the reason why. They fucked up everything in this relationship. What's the uh, situations on this three here? Hmm. These came out together. Today, look, today, future days, weeks, months, this was in the reverse. Something is going on today. Wow. That's just absolutely crazy how people just cannot leave y'all alone. Or this is your stalking with weird ass sending people into this divine masculine and feminine. You're weird as shit. What's the relationship? Soulmate, similar friendship, romantic partner. Like I said, they're sending someone in. They 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 want to be with you, but look, somebody's trying to poison your ass. Then I say somebody named Desiree. I know Desiree ain't spelled like that, but it's close. Shit, love, adore, admire, enchantment. But look what came out with that. Synchronicities is in the reverse. This is not no divine connection. This is bullshit for somebody that's sitting back with eyes for you. Clean your energy, bro. You need to cleanse. Somebody finna come in talking and acting like y'all on the same page or not, bro. You're in a whole different book right here. There's nothing about y'all people that are alike. Look at Archangel Michael. I'm just telling you. You got heavy, heavy protection. You're heavily protected, bro. There's nothing this person gonna be able to do to get near you. So, I mean, they know they can't get near you, so they're trying to send someone else in. Fucking loser. This is a weak piece of shit here. Look with the eight of wands again. Why they're coming so fucking quickly towards you. Knowing they don't want no good for you, bro. This person know damn well they don't want the best for you. They don't want, they actually don't want you to have shit right here. And they know it. This person knows what their intentions are for you. That's real fucked up. What's this grief energy? Sad ass motherfucker. I've been pulling that to today card for a lot of my readers recently here. So it's, it's something going on. I just feel somebody is getting their shit. They getting their shit, bro. What's the grief? Look, mystery. It's like you never know with this damn person. You like you just never know what they're up to or some shit. Cause you will never know that this person is all up in your damn energy. What's here for a relationship? You like you will literally never know. You cannot trust this motherfucker. I'm just telling you, they got all this space, all these ideas, and they real comfortable in your energetic field because you're at peace. Like I said, you're at peace. This motherfucker can't be trusted. Yep. Look at this shit. Movement again. This person is moving towards you too damn fast, and they're gonna run right into Archangel Michael. They're gonna run right into Archangel Michael. Period. Something is going to be illuminated to you and it's going to allow you to grow. But you're protected heavily. This don't even make any sense because, like, I feel this person has tried this several times. And they keep running this Archangel Michael. This is not the first encounter this motherfucker done had with Archangel Michael. I mean, this person has gotten that close to you to where Archangel Michael has stepped in. Wow. Y'all people are weird as fuck. You would think that these people that just mind their motherfucking business, huh? They won't. These people will not. I heard hoochie, hoochie, hoochie. Stone cold hoochie. <laughs> Who watching Family Guy? Y'all folk funny as a motherfucker. Somebody love Nate Dog. Nate Dog. Somebody named Lil' One. Lil' One. Little One. That's what Lil' One. Young One. Young Money. Lil' Money. Some shit. 
or money, dollar. I need dollar. <laughs> shit lame as hell, man. Eight dollar. <laughs> dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation is what's being That's <laughs> with some in that dog. Boy, your name ain't Derek. <laughs> Come of this situation is what Spirit said. You're gonna be made aware of this shit, bro. Like whoever you are, somebody land ain't where W A R E. Whoever you is, bro, it's like this peak that you're reaching in your life, bro. You got the enemy is so fucking confused because nobody will ever know the Most High God's movement. They'll just never know, bro. And without knowing your next move, these people have no move. Shit, just dummy missions. Now these motherfuckers going by word of mouth, what they hearing. They trying to listen deep and decipher and put one, put two and two together and shit right here. They trying to literally decipher. They got groups of people listening to everything you say, watching what you're doing. They trying to put shit together now at this point. Motherfuckers can't. Motherfuckers don't know anything. They just guessing shit. Somebody's birthday is June 27. Somebody just turned 32 June 27 or 40. This shit right here funny as fuck, bro. Because their downfall is going to be this plan. Whatever the fuck this plan is, is their downfall. It's their demise, okay? Remember that guy who was just started watching masculine. 